Good morning, it's Friday and it is Erev Shabbos and Erev Yom Tov, which means starting tonight for the next two days, including Shabbos and Sunday, ending Sunday night, are the final two festival days of Pesach and um, known as Achron Shel Pesach, the final days of Pesach. And I want to talk about that a little bit because those are misunderstood days. You know, the first two days or nights, we have the Seder and the Seder is so exciting. We prepare so much for it. We look forward to it. It's such an inspiring, uplifting, incredible experience. And then the first few days of Passover, we're super inspired and we're motivated. But let's be honest, you know, the week goes on and we're thinking about our donuts or our bagels or our pizza or whatever it is that we're starting to miss. And now we have two more days of Yom Tov ahead of us, two more days of the holiday, the festival, where we don't do work and we observe like Shabbos almost, basically. Um, what are we supposed to make of these last two days? How are we supposed to invest in them to make them worthwhile? There are no specific mitzvot that are attached to them. We do, of course, have the festival meals and the prayer services, the davening, but otherwise, no specific mitzvot. There's no seder. So what do we do? So I think the clue is in the fact that this holiday is referred to as, in, in Deuteronomy, it's referred to as atzeret. Atzeret. The last day of Passover is referred to as atzeret. And atzeret means to gather together or to collect. Now, what does this mean? It means that Hopefully our Passover was super inspiring. We invested a lot of time and energy into it. We prepared. We listened to words of Torah wisdom to prepare. We had amazing seders. We, we gave it our all. And now what has happened is we've created an incredible closeness, an incredible uh, love of Hashem and a closeness to Hashem. And what do we do with that? We want to bottle it somehow. We want to bottle it so that we can take it with us into the year. That's what Atzeres is all about. That's what this last day is for, these two days. In America, we have two days. Contemplate. What did you achieve? What did you accomplish? What were the feelings of closeness that you were able to acquire through the days of Passover? And feel them and feel inspired by them. And then what we have to do, this is the trick, this is the secret of how to bottle that energy, how to bottle that spiritual power that we created through our own mitzvot and through our own investment and through our own connection to the holiday. The secret is you have to take something on. You have to take something upon yourself, a new level of commitment, a new mitzvah that I want to observe, a new quality of Jewish life that I'm going to add into my repertoire of my Jewish life and my relationship with Hashem, a new mitzvah, a new goal Jewishly. And that becomes the vessel that I use to take all that power and all that energy from the holiday and bottle it so that I can hold on to it, that I can do atzeres, I can collect it and gather it and maintain it so that it doesn't just disappear after the holiday is all over. I mean, God forbid the worst thing that should happen. We don't want this to happen. That Passover ends and it's done, it's gone and it was great and now we move on. No, we don't want to do that. That's not how we approach the year. We need to take all the power, all the spiritual energy of Pesach and bring it with us into the year. You know that in the times of the temple, there was a mitzvah, a requirement to go to the temple three times a year on the three festivals, on Pesach, on Shavuos, and on Sukkot. So we'd have to go three times a year and we'd have to bring certain sacrifices and be there in Yerushalayim absorbing the holiness of the holy temple. Now, here's the interesting question. When were you allowed to leave? So people might think, well, the, as soon as the festival is over, like this year, let's say it's over Sunday night, Sunday night, you pack up your bags, you get an Uber and you leave. No, but that's not true. The Torah requires us to stay overnight and not to leave until the next day because we don't just run out of spiritual highs. We have to ease out of them. We have to pull ourselves slowly and carefully away from them and use that time for contemplation. So my advice to you on these last two amazing, incredible, awesome days coming up, and one of them is a double whammy, it's Shabbos also. Incredible spirituality available. Use these days. Think about what, what it meant for you to be close to Hashem and feel close to Hashem, and think about the new commitments that you want to make, and then just think about what commandment, what mitzvah you can take upon yourself as a vessel to contain all of that spirituality that you were able to feel and experience on Pesach. Wishing you all a beautiful Pesach and a beautiful, wonderful Shabbos.